Not very much plunced in the room right now. Oh, you know what? This. Oh, that's better. Been forsaken by both plunced and ice. This is what you get for interacting with the false ice prophets. Your plunced is at low ebb. Drusif, it's great to see you. Moros, fucking, I'm sorry that you're de iced and de plunsted, but it's great to see you. Clip, how you doing, buddy? <sighs> ow, 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 Mel! Speaking of other people who are great, oh, do you see a, a creature? She's leaving, I, I was about to, Showcase the pup. But she's getting out of here. So never mind. Doll. Jant. Jun. I got like a. A something. And it hurts. She said no photos to Plunst. 
How's everybody Tuesday going? My Tuesday's good. My Tuesday's great. My Tuesday is probably better than your Tuesday. For no real reason other than the fact that it can be. <sighs> better than Monday? Fuck yeah. That's what I like. That's what I love. I guess it's an ulcer. Is that what you call that? A little bit of a, a little little a sore on the interior of your lip. I don't know what an ulcer is. A sore on the lining of your stomach, intestine, or esophagus. Is a mouth ulcer a thing? I can't stop messing with it. Holy shit. That's literally, literally not how it works. Oh yeah, okay, ulcer. That's that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm incapable of that. In that good ADHD, too much stuff to do paralysis. I hate that. That's a bad place to be. I uh, my heart goes out to you. Can I help you focus in? Let me pick the task that you need to do. How about that? There's no way that can go badly for you. This is, I haven't used this before, right? I have not. Big stresso converts to depresso. That is usually how that goes, unfortunately. Big stresso converts to depresso, drinking espresso to create in no i don't know doom some eternal and hope it does some centering that's good moves is making friends with fish an option i mean probably Normally I do metallics last, but uh, these guys' metallics are like under their robes, so I'm doing them first because of the awkward placement of them. Uh, and I'm using a hot, fresh new metallic from Pro Acryl. They're magnesium, which looks like a nice dark metallic. So we'll report back. And by we'll report back, I mean, we'll just do it right now, right here. Ooh, 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 the coverage, the coverage, the coverage. Oh, oh. Immediately, immediately in love with this paint. All right, Pro Curl never misses. It's it's easy to say. DVD Vecna can use Mage Hand on pallets to prevent them being knocked over and or lift them back up. That's why. What? Why? I I mean, I guess there's a reason to lift them back up. I just don't know what it would be. I also think it's fucking ridiculous that Vecna's being in Dead by Daylight. I feel like it. It really is the death knell of Dungeons and Dragons being cool at all. <laughs> Which is not to say that I don't like Dead by Daylight, but it is to say that like that that level and flavor of crossover on on behalf of Hasbro is like not a good sign for the life of that game. And by that game I mean Dungeons and Dragons. DBD has been doing this sort of crossover thing for a while, and that's uh, par for the course, and they usually actually do it pretty well, all things considered. So, I have nothing bad to say about that.
I could probably use a bigger paintbrush and that would make my life easier, but I don't know. Something about that just feels incorrect. Waiting for a Monopoly horror franchise? <laughs> Wait, that's IRL real estate. Womp, womp, womp. I mean, at this point, investors actually buy more houses than uh, first time or second time home buyers. First time or repeat, rather. Not second time, but repeat. So that is to say, individuals buying houses is less common than investors and firms buying houses now. And if that's not fucked all to shit, uh, well, it is. We, it's just fucked, and it makes me mad. Real estate's always been a scam because, like, it's Earth. We should just share it. Uh, but. It is especially bad nowadays. God damn, this is a nice metallic. <laughs> Man made horrors beyond my comprehension. Maybe they're beyond your comprehension. I comprehend these horrors just fine. <laughs> The horrors persist, and so do I. And the, uh, the beatings will continue until morale improves. Eldritch Horror House Flipper. I fuck with that. Do these guys have, like, gloves, or do they have metal? It's metal. All right. Clearly modeled with, like, straps and stuff, but the colors in the book say metal, so that's what they're getting. Caught up with a friend who was uh, big up in capitalism and taxing the rich in the same breath, and I, was, I had to be like, yeah, man. Uh, I mean, you didn't have to be like that. But lose, uh, you could lose a friend, so I don't know. Priorities. You're not even using six dimensional space. This is terrible for staging. That's uh, every house is a house of leaves for the uh, Eldritch real estate agent. Or they just like pretend every house is a house of leaves, but actually every show, every, every show, every, uh, every house is actually significantly smaller on the inside somehow. It's like a reverse house of leaves somehow. <laughs> at, the, at a venue in the middle of a death metal show, so arguing that he's a little off would be fruitless. Yeah, there's a time and a place for all things. And that that's not the time or place. Every house of leaves is the open space concept of the Eldritch House Flipper. Fucking open isn't it isn't an open floor plan house of leaves just the back rooms? Have I have I solved that flavor of horror? You heard it here first, y'all. The back rooms is just House of Leaves with an open floor plan. I want that t-shirt. That'll be that's that's on my list of maybe I'll make it merch.
God damn, that's a really nice metallic. I'm, I'm stoked about the quality of that paint. I'm, I'm a simple creature. I like metallics with uh, good coverage and a nice creamy texture to them. Uh-oh. Did I just break this cap? No, I didn't. Okay. Maybe are you coming for a ride? I just want to look into your eyes. Do not eat the metallic. I don't want to eat the metallic. But also, I could if I wanted to, because it's just like little, little, uh, tiny little flakes. It's not toxic. Acrylic paint isn't toxic. I can't stress this enough. Accepting, of course, the point that in high enough quantities, everything is toxic. But eating acrylics is not quite the same as eating oil paints. It is if you mix it with other toxic stuff. <laughs> I mean, okay, you, you got me there. You know, I can't argue that point. Okay, I mean, yeah, but I'm not using slow dry. Because I'm not, I'm not a coward. I don't need slow dry. Paint fast, eat ass, bash fash. Slow dry, paint it easy. Got him? Did I got him? Nope, there we go. I don't uh, I don't work with watercolors, so I'm not worried about watercolors being bad to eat. But Moros, don't eat your watercolors. Ah, two can play at that game. What now? Wow, the fucking absolute vibe shift. <laughs> wow. I usually love listening to things on shuffle because the shift between songs makes brain go burr but that was a little intense don't eat them i used to almost drink them are you uh do you have a dedicated paint water cup now though one that says, this is definitely paint water, drink me. <laughs> yep, designated water cup. There you go. I use sauce bowls. Huh. Like ramekins? I love having an excuse to say that word. Ramekin is what happens when you're trying to fit a mannequin in a space too small for it.
Question, Bennett. All right. This is definitely paint water drink me would be a great merch for mug. Mug for merch. I'm pretty sure that that's an idea that I stole from somebody else. But it would be a good mug. I have to I have to do a little little searching to make sure I'm not doing that. Have both what? Sauce bowls and ramekins? Oh, even thinned out. It's got pretty good coverage. Almost got my hand caught in a mannequin. Wait, uh, what? Morris, I require either context or reassurance, and I'm not sure which one it is. There I was, fisting a mannequin. And I realized, oh shit, I cannot get my hand free. Oh, apparently it's a bad day for my hand not feeling like shit. Mel, I probably have an answer for you whenever you want to ask your question. It might even be a good answer, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. Ow! I know that that means animals as leaders, but it always makes me think, Ow! What colors are you planning on painting the skeleton? I'm planning on painting them like Skeletor. Oh, ooh, 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 fuck. Yeah, that one right there. Y'all, hand stretches are fucking crucial to your life. I know I say this all the time, but treat your body right. So, blue skin, purple accoutrement, bony colored face. That like that. Like the cartoon or the 90s toy. I don't I'm not aware of there being a difference in coloration between those things. Uh because to be honest with you, I was never a He-Man fan. I just like Skeletor because I like skulls. Was in high school and someone flipped the mannequin over and filled her with items used for the painting display. So I went to fish stuff out and jokingly said I was stuck. But in the process of pulling stuff out, I got panic stuck <laughs> and had to stop nervous laughing to get free. The mannequin smelled your fear and it knew there's a slight difference. Do you have reference images for the difference? Because I'm not. I don't fucking know. One has a glowing face. Wait, we had this conversation with Clip. And Clip pointed out that that is a separate character who has a fucking... His name is Scare Glow. I, rem I'm, I don't know why I remember this. I don't get, I don't get to choose what goes into my long-term memory. But once it's there, it's fucking there. And I remember that. There's a there's an important Scareglow and and Skeletor are different characters. This was established. I Googled it. I looked at them. I remember this. Oh, we're so close. 84%. Squanch them scanches. Scarch them barches. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking put a little paint on this mech while I'm thinking about it. Since I'm about to use this color on my boys. I've never painted a Battletech mech before. I'm trying to make him look fucking grungy as all shit. 
uh, sort of in the vein of like uh, an Assultron. That's just the same thing three times, but the colors are different because fucking Mattel is cheap or Hasbro or whichever one it is. That's 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 the same colors there. You cannot you cannot convince me those are different colors. You're showing me the same colors. I'm so con Mel, I'm fucking wildly confused what the point you're making is. Are you talking about like the specific like shades of like saturation versus like saturation and and all and all that stuff? The skin's different. It's just the skin's fucking blue. Also, you're using you're using pictures from different eras, which doesn't fucking count. Skeletor is blue, goddammit. One's more teal? No, one is more saturated. But uh, no, one is a fucking sky blue, and one of them one of them is a desaturated blue. That's also a sky blue. I'll fucking whip out Gimp if I have to prove this point. I don't know why I decided I'm dying on this hill, but I'm fucking dying on this hill. Welcome to welcome to Death Hill. I'm not leaving. Isn't there already? I mean, probably, but we're moving. It's it's a, it's officially changing locations. Wait, the tabard is the more olive green or the cloak is? The tabard is the more olive green. All right. Dat, 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 dat. I like when, uh, wait, what's an airman? What is that? You painted your airman blue? Your airman? Mel, what's an airman? I'm so fucking confused. Uh, I like when guitarists do solo-y type stuff that makes it sound like they're stuttering. Which I guess doesn't make any sense since that song is over and I can't point it out, but... That always tickles me. Ooh, is that metallic or is that gold? It's gold. All right. Easy peasy. Easy fucking peasy. Skeletor I painted using Airman Blue from GW. Oh, I'm not familiar with Airman Blue. Shut up and take my money! I do not like lychee. I do not like lychee sparkling water. Oh. I, honestly, if you fucking paid me money to recall it, I would not be able to recall what the flavor of lychee is. I know I've tasted it. I know I've fucking had a lychee fruit in, in, in earnest before, but I don't know what the fuck a flavor of a lychee is. A 
Hello there. Hello there. But also, sparkling water is just evil, so. Oh, shit. We got, we got three motherfuckers came in at exactly the same time. We got Rube, we got Ghoul, we got Nerd. So many fucking cool folks. Thank you for appearing, y'all. I will provide appropriate shoutouts in just a moment. How y'all doing? I appreciate the work alert, ghoul. All these fucking cool people who make cool minis and paint cool things. There's no semicolons in Nerd Hollow's name. I am my begging. Pal. He's my homeboy. He's my rotten begging. Soul. He's my sweet cheese. My good time boy. Because he's my best friend. He's my pal. He's my homeboy. Oh, we're missing a Steph. She'll probably show cheese. up in about a my half hour boy. just before I go on break. If her daily schedule is what I'm used to it being. If you blended a grandma's purse and pulled out the Werther's. Wait, so grandma's purse without Werther's? Or grandma's purse covering a Werther's? I don't think I understand. Without, oh, that sounds awful. That sounds like a horrible fruit. Why would anyone eat that? Hello there. Say that while holding your tongue. Was it original? Grandma Puss is out with us. Which which thing was I supposed to say? All we're missing is death. Why am why am I actually doing that? Grandma Puss. Grandma Puss. Grandma Puss. Grandma Puss. Grandmoth Puff. Grandmoth? Puff. Oh, is this gonna be the day that I finally finish off this jar of paint? Ooh, maybe. Just maybe. Grandma's piss. Check it's whips in a sec. Alright. <laughs> Thank you, Danny DeVito. <laughs> oh, maybe, okay. I was about to be like, maybe there's no paint in here. There is. There's just even less than I thought. That's nice. It's fucking like four-year-old, five-year-old bottle of green that I barely ever use. Oof, oof. I can tell that this is a GW paint because the coverage is not as good. I didn't realize I'd become such a fucking opacity freak with paints. But I clearly I have. Or as as Matt Yee would say, an opacity pervert. Oh, it it Mel, it comes out almost every time you're not in stream, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Rocky, Brad, Janet. We're just shouting each other's names, you know? Ugh. Ugh. This is the polar opposite experience of the metallic I was using. 
The coverage is fucking bad. It doesn't feel creamy. I'm not enjoying myself. Still broken from last night. That shit was needed. Thank you. Legit overwhelmed with joy from the silliness. You're fucking very welcome, Mungo. Uh, that is that is the that's the intended goal of every stream is to uh break everyone uh with overflowings of happiness. I want to make everybody cry with tears as many times as I've cried with tears uh, on stream, you know? So, so far, uh, I have a lot of work to do. God, these guys look so much like fucking Dr. Doom. Dang it. Comic books. Doomlings. Well, they're little knights from Hellboy, uh, but boy, they, they have a Doctor Doom vibe to them. Now that I'm painting them and not reading them in a comic. Like, I need to, I need, I need y'all to be filled in on my feelings and make sure that they're valid. Like, these little guys down here next to Hellboy, they, they don't, they kind of look like Doctor Doom, but not really. But like, they kind of look like Doctor Doom, you know? I hate it. I don't hate it. Been watching HBO Max. Uh, I believe you just mean Max. Please send me your bones. Mel! Sidewinder underscore is just subscribed. Shinimu Paints gifted a tier one sub to Sidewinder. Why did it say Winder? Like Sidewinder. Thank you for that gift sub, Mel. Been watching HBO Max. No, I just read half of this. Watch Max. Uh, I've watched all of Fiona and Cake, House of the Dragon, and Clone High. Clone High is really good. Uh, and I'm glad we're going to get more of it. I think that's what I heard. Uh, I've never... I didn't watch any of House of the Dragon. Because, I, I don't know, I stopped watching Game of Thrones in, like, Season 2. Uh, and I have no idea what Fiona and Cake is. But, I'm glad that you're getting your fucking money's worth. Cleo and Frida? I don't know what that means either. Fiona and Cake is love. Oh, Clone High. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Cleo and Frida. Right, 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 right. From Clone High. Fully functioning brain. Able to hold a conversation. I like I I know I've heard the name Fiona and Cake before, but I have never watched it. Don't know what it is. Uh, Joan. Joan. Joan is the best part of, of Clone High. Because don't let your piloting parasite die or else you forget how to drive and do fractions. Look, my parasite is doing fine. It's the thing the parasite is piloting. 
that really needs the help, okay? I honestly, I, yeah, I have more faith in the parasite than I do the brain that the parasite is, is parasiting. Cheer up, me boys. Oh, shit. And then immediately we go to Gojira. After the song about fishing for a whale, we go to the Gojira album with uh, the whale on the cover. That's... That's a funny joke, Spotify. Started The Last of Us, but zombie apocalypses generally give me an anxiety attack. The Last of Us TV show is like, okay. Uh, that's, that's my take. All right. You're not you're honestly not really missing out by not watching it. I also I'm fucking I can watch all the zombie shit in the world and like never be bothered by it. But I have a lot of zombie apocalypse anxiety dreams, but like specifically dreams that manifest that way, not like daylight waking experiences. I don't know what that's about. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have Alice over here that I need to figure out how to paint to. Alice, where are you? Giants. Fairies. Naked blood women. Okay, so she's just like shades of brown. I can make that happen. She's a redhead, but she just dresses in shades of brown. Wanted to see the cool zombies. I don't want to engage with the world. I mean, if you want to do that, just like. Uh, fucking skip it because the video game zombies are better. Just watch clips from the games instead. Because I, I do really like their creature design. But, like, there's no reason to watch Stress, the story, if all you want is the cool monsters.
moreover than that, there's there's really no reason to even watch the clips when you can just look at the cool pictures and make up your own story about them or just read about them on Wikipedia. <laughs> No, you said you were going to put something in whips uh, sometime soon, quote unquote. So I didn't forget to check whips. I was waiting for you to put something there, and then you never told me to go check whips. I will fight. I will fight you. Today, I will die on any hill, apparently, is how we're living today. I'm feeling feisty and cantankerous. The Rat King is amazing. The Rat King is uh, my favorite thing about The Last of Us 2. Well, it's in whips. All right, then I'll go look in whips. As soon as I paint this Hello there. part of the hood. The hood? The coat. The coat is like a hood. Holy fighter man. That's me. I'll fight every man. How's it going, Chromatic? Oh, hey, it's another mech man. Mechman. It's another Mechman. Look at these. All those human fighters. <laughs> Watch out, humans. Hell yeah. Hey, since you know Battletech, what the fuck is this, Mel? What, what is this? I just realized you can't see. I just realized you can't see the mini I'm talking about. What kind of, what kind of mech is this, Mel? Help me out here. All the hills all the time. All the hills have eyes. It's true. Staff! Free falling. Skinny Stompa. Okay, that, yeah. He's my best friend. He's that my works friend. for me. He's my homeboy. He's my rotten soldier. He's my sweet okay. cheese. My I have to find boy. where she's got the scarf. What color is her scarf? Oh, oh, tan. Everything she wears is brown. Okay. That'll do it. That's fine. That's good enough. I think that's a bog hopper. Time to Google. Battletech bog hopper. I'm getting tanks. I don't know. I'm not worried about it that much. Of course. Yeah, you fucking everybody can have a shout out if they want one. I will I will take the time to shout out everyone who I who who asks for one in chat if they really want. I can't guarantee uh, that'll mean anything to y'all because it'll just link to your Twitch account. But I'll do it. I don't like getting shout outs. Well, I ain't doing it. And it's probably because it forces you to be the center of attention for a hot second. Uh, and that always makes you grapple with your self-esteem. Uh, just, just not that I'm projecting my own feelings onto you. But if I if I had to guess, it's probably that. I do have to say, Twitch has gotten me better about uh, dealing with my self-esteem and handling com 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 compliments, compliments, and generally interacting with human beings. Just want to shout out the Squatch Swatch. Give a dog a painting experience. She's gonna choose the colors of a mini. 
It's going to be a good time. Mech is called a pack hunter. All right. Battletech pack hunter. I there's no J in the word pack hunter, but I still found it. Yep, that's that looks like that's what that is. Nice. Oh, how close are we on the Squatch Swatch? Did I get the dog mini? Oh, for sure. I'm gonna... I'm... She'll, it's gonna be on stream somehow. What dog mini, Moros? Because that's vague enough that I could mean anything. Oh, um, I hadn't decided what the mini was going to be, actually. A dog mini would make sense. But honestly, I hadn't even thought about it. Hit your funny bone? Well, that's no, that's no laughing matter. I'm sorry to hear that, Mel. No laughing matter, and yet I still did make a joke about it. Because I'm a very sensitive person. Uh, I've, I've smashed my knee so hard that I've fainted. Uh, and I've actually done that twice in my life. Those are the, the only two times I've ever fainted are times when I fucking ate shit and bashed my knee into linoleum. And then just passed the fuck out. Yeah, it was like almost, I think it was like the same year even. Like, once I slipped on water in my house, bashed my knee on the linoleum, and then finished walking into my bedroom, and then went, I feel weird, and then woke up on the floor. And then the other time was in school, uh, and I slipped on water walking down a hallway, and I bashed my knee really hard, uh, and I stood up, and a teacher was like, are you okay? And I was like, no, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> and then I woke up on the floor. <laughs> oh, what's the new Gobbo mini, Mel? Ooh, Plunsto Gobbo. Plunsto Gobbo sounds like a Star Wars character. Now we know your weak spot. Yeah, Achilles, but it's either of my fucking knees. Hey, Mel, it would be tight if you could give us a warning that that's extremely not safe for work. Just, uh... <laughs> post that, post the warning first, and not after, please. <laughs> Holy shit. No, it's you. You say the words before you send the link. You say the words before you send the link. Spoiler warnings don't work until if you say it after the spoiler. That was a spoiler, BT Dubs. 
trigger warning, I just triggered you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> For emphasis, not mad. Just saying, not how that works. Uh, uh? I just know what color I wanted and where to go. There it is. <laughs> I saw things. <laughs> My virginal eyes. Wow, this paint is not wanting to come out, huh? Maybe. Possibly. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Plunced! <laughs> Good plunts placement. Plunstment, if you will. Why is this almost the same color? What the fuck? This is not... This should be redder than it is. That's weird. Well, I guess it is redder. Huh. Okay. My non-existent innocence and plurals that I clutch at the naughty bits. Yeah, okay, now that it's actually covering the model, I can see it's a different shade than I thought it was. That's, that's, uh, that's, it's what we need. It's what we want. It's what the people crave. Colors. They're what plants crave. I have been to the Sect Museum in New York City. It is... Pretty cool. Or no, that's not true. I've been to a different museum that had a exhibit from the Sex Museum on loan to it. But it was huge. That's 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 what it was. Wow, that was a long time ago. That was like 2017. but I was also in New England, New England, New York at the time. I did finish the Reaper Goblin. Uh, she, she's getting pictures posted of her soon. Fucking last minute playing with fluorescent paints. But we got there, we did it, and I'm happy with her. Oh shit, ad break, ad break, ad break, ad break. Warning, ad break. <laughs>
I have indeed acquired the coffee. Which reminds me. I don't have a fucking Dude. coffee problem. You should have got my stuff. problem is there's not a fresh fucking pot. You need a fresh fucking pot. Wash time. Actually, I think wash one and contrast the other. What? Did I hear them say OnlyFans? Did I make that up? I feel like I made that up. Look at that little goobus. That little goobus right there. You see her all snugged up? Pretending that she can't hear me talking about her. Oh. Rotating ear. Oh. Rotating ear. What a cutie. This is why we need a squash cam. That's quite hot. Fucking 303 is on this list? How did we... How, what world is this? Scoping. Why am I enjoying this? I don't want to enjoy 303. They're they're bad dudes. They're creeps. Wow, I have successfully made the exact same color that was already there, but just more saturated. Which I guess makes it not the exact same color, but still. That's something. Oh, I, they just, they're, they've, they're, they have a history of questionable lyrics that are not particularly, uh, nice to women. Uh, the one that immediately comes to mind is from their first hit, uh, I don't remember what it's fucking called, but the lyrics are, shush girl, shut your lips, uh, do the Helen Keller and talk with your hips. Which just makes me feel filthy, and not in a fun way. Some bands are tongue-in-cheek, they are tongue-in-cheeks. Womp 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 womp. Well played.
All right, I thought these cloaks were going to be a, a nice quick slap of color, but not so fucking much. All right. Not to actually put work into them. Ew. I'm not actually mad that I have to put effort in. I'm just mad that I that the my clever plan did not work. Gotta go back to work. Bye, Steph. Enjoy the buttholes. Part of me is like, I should clarify what that means for anyone who doesn't know. And the rest of me is like, no, I think honestly, I could just tell anyone to enjoy the buttholes. And I think that that is a fair, fair sign off for just about anyone. If I had a living grandmother, I would tell her to enjoy the buttholes. Is that Patch? Well, I know Patch needs to learn to enjoy the butthole. They've just never seen one. But after they see the butthole, then they can start to appreciate it. Motor steeple. Okay. One must contemplate the butts holes before you can appreciate the butts holes. Yeah. Accept the butthole. The butthole accepts you. The butthole only accepts you if you go slowly and with lube. Otherwise, the butthole does not accept you. I think highlighting metallics. The butthole in me recognizes the butthole in you. <laughs> the butthole in me sees the butthole in you. That's my best Billy Corgan impression. One thing I did notice looking through is that these spears are a warmer tone than their armor. So I'm going to finish these off differently. The armor is going to get a bit of a blue wash. The spears are going to get a more of a brown wash. And it's going to look great and cool and perfect. I also, I don't like Billy Corgan. I don't know why I don't like Billy Corgan. I don't know if I heard that he did something and then I just never double, like, never fact-checked it or anything, but, like, for some reason my gut tells me that I want to fight Billy Corgan. So I just, I just stand by that without knowing why. He's a general kind of a douche. General douche. Medouche. <laughs>
apparently owns a good vegan restaurant. Yeah, he he comes off as very arrogant. Yes. That's extremely true. Oh, I just realized what these spears remind me of. These spears look like this sculpting tool. Wait, I've got one that's got the... Where is it? Come on. There it is. That's that's the same picture. Corporate needs to show you the difference. They're the same picture. He's just he's just doing a real big sculpt. Avast ye scoundrel, I'm doing a sculpt. I don't know why I went with pirate terms, but avast felt like the right one. It felt comfortable, good coming out of the mouth, you know? And I know this guy's got some of this as edges on his metallics. So we'll just remove that real quick on the places that got the green. I honestly, I might just make this my Mecha May entry. I wasn't planning on doing Mecha May, but I might just go with this guy. Did we get? Yep, we got Chaperone. Chaperone singing a bummer, no less. Unfortunately. Which means it's coming off the list. Staying low. DJ Hamster Dance. Oh, I'm blurry now. I'm a cryptid. What are you going to fucking do about it? Take a picture of me. Tell me the. Government doesn't exist? That's backwards. Tell the government I don't exist. That's the one. Admittedly, I didn't expect this.
camera, please, but come zoom. Oh, it worked. I don't know why become zoom is a functional thing that I can tell a camera, but I'm mad about it. I am become Zoom. Uh, focuser of images. Destroyer of aim. Okay, two different directions. Great. Two good answers. Two great tastes that taste great together. Honestly, Zoom destroyed Skype. AIM was like already dead. It was Zoom killed Skype. Fucking, I can't believe that Skype fumbled that hard during the pandemic, you know? Oh, we got some German. Skype deserved to die. I fully fucking agree. I hate Skype. Uh, and I don't miss AIM. What is there to miss about AIM that you don't get in Discord? Yeah. Seconded, Rube. Bigly seconded. Curiosity. What can go wrong? I'm feeling this is just going to make it a little bit more red and not darken it, and that's fine. That's actually what I want. Oh, fuck yeah, it's working. Discord does a lot when you just want a message and easier to save narrative RP. Hmm. I don't know. I, hmm. I don't know. Even if you just do Discord messages and no servers, I feel like it's still better than AIM was and just about every single way. But I also like aim was not like a thing that I like grew up with. I like hopped on the aim wagon probably a year or two before it fully fucking died. So like I did not spend a lot of time chatting with people that way. God, Moros, that is the most fucking depressing trio of objects. You can have all of them. I, I will not look back. I will not think twice. Nah, I, I like, I like never touched it until I started to have something of a social life in high school. And at that point, I was like, no, nah, fuck this.
that was that was at that point I was able to adopt to MySpace, adopt adapt to MySpace, and just did that instead. But also just sort of, I don't know. I was too busy being on message boards and not being on AIM. What flavor is everyone having and what brand? I'll have a Waterloo grape. I'm pretty sure there's a Waterloo grape in my house's fridge right now. Because June drinks those. Or maybe it's a cherry. I don't know. It's some sort of a maroon type color on the packaging. But I know it's a Waterloo. Because every time I see it, my brain involuntarily goes, Waterloo! Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. Like ABBA. The fact that there's fruit punch in sparkling water flavors is so fucking bonkers to me because fruit punch is like the strongest, one of the most fucking like punch you in the mouth fucking fruit flavors. It's like, no, but let's just do like the whispered memory of fruit punch. I, that's so weird. Oh, God, ginger sparkling water sounds awful. Why would you want spicy water? If I want water that burns on the way down, I'll just drink vodka. Ginger ale without the insane sugar. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I just don't like ginger that much. I like ginger ale, but that's because it doesn't taste like ginger. It tastes like sugar. And I'm enough of an adult to admit that. This is just straight up not the color I was going for at all. Ugh! I'm just going to leave the cloak alone and start over completely. 102% DV, domestic value. Dom vocation. Daily vitamins. Donation vittles. I mean, you, I, nutrition facts don't mean fuck all to me, personally. Uh, between not having a quote-unquote standard-sized body and not trusting just the origins of nutritional facts or the implementation of nutritional facts or any of that, uh, doesn't fucking matter. None of that means anything. To me, at least. To me. I, I don't think it means anything to anybody, or shouldn't. But that's just me. As an, as an angry, anti-diet, fat person. Don't cite the nutritional values to me. Just a lot. Like, spike your sugar. That's fair. I don't track that at all in my life. But we've established... I'm a hypocrite when I say take care of your body because I, I think I, uh, 
what was the math that I worked out? I drink like three times the normal suggested daily intake of caffeine. Like, you know, that kind of shit. Oh, are these cloaks dry? I'm, fuck, I'm so salty about these cloaks being honestly too bright. God damn it. Fair. Uh, 400 milligrams is just about the suggested amount. Which is like two small cups of coffee. Uh, when I worked it out on stream, I think I drink an average of like 1600 milligrams because I drink like three pots of coffee a day on average. But I'm also self-medicating for ADHD. So that means I can do no wrong. Uh, I can't commit crimes. I'm actually a perfect sweet angel. No matter how much caffeine I drink. Uh, and if I drink more than one pot of coffee, I can be held liable for no crimes. And that's true. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm very confident. Curry's off to make coffee based on this new info. I'm not a lawyer. And if I had one, I'm pretty sure they'd tell me not to say this. But I'm confident. It's an independent coffee shop that's putting its kids through college on Bennett Coffee. Actually, legit fucking true, though. I think I think the, the two places I spend the most money at on a monthly basis are our local coffee shop and... Uh, the doctor's office that I get my uh, uh, light box treatments at. And that's only because they're weird about the insurance that they take. It used to definitely just be the coffee. Well, actually, it used to be the alcohol store. Let's, let's be real. But these days, coffee shop, coffee shop's number two. Actually, it's probably number three behind alcohol stores still, but that's different. Forgot you got anti-vampirism treatments. It's true. I got anti-vampirism treatments to make my skin work like other people's skin. Uh, and it still doesn't do that very well. But it is trying. You know, tr treatment that makes me itchy two out of seven days of the week. I do sometimes wonder if I was more of an outdoor kid, if I would even need those treatments, but I also can't imagine a version of my life where I am an outdoor kid like that. 
And I, I say outdoor kid as though I'm not fucking 35, but y'all know what I mean. <laughs> That's for wolves and nature. Yeah, I know. I do like some nature things. Fucking, I, I, I enjoy gardening. Uh, especially when it's like fun gardening that's like removing my lawn and not mowing my fucking lawn. That's some bullshit. Uh, I just like doing it when it's like dark and maybe cold and maybe wet. And as I'm talking about this, I'm beginning to realize why I need anti-vampirism treatments. Refuse to be outdoors when indoors is possible. I mean, indoors is a straight upgrade. Oh, fuck. Speaking of blood sugar spiking. Dude, this track goes hard. Also, all of those fucking orchestra hits. Indoors, outdoors, plus with house subscription. Yeah, the house DLC is is really where they get you. It's outdoors is free to play. But <laughs> the house DLC that really makes everything more comfortable. So fucking expensive. Outdoors Free also has a lot of bugs and they aren't fixing it. <laughs> yeah, actually, I've heard that in some places the bugs have gotten significantly worse this summer. I don't know how they might be able to patch that, but they claim it's a game mechanic. That's some fucking Todd Howard shit. It just works. called a summer event. Dude, this, this song makes me want to fucking pod race. <laughs> like, fuck, dude. I'm so glad that orchestra hits are a thing. There, there, there's never a bad orchestra hit. You show me a song, and I will show you a song that can be improved by an orchestra hit. Tried to download the Vacation DLC, but my work server denied permission. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not available on every server. It's weird. 
Have you tried uh have you tried switching to the the blue collar server? Or off of the blue collar server and to the white collar server? You picked this song. Fuck yeah. Oh, this sounds familiar. Hell yeah. Klez, how are you, you beautiful bastard? I hope you're having a great fucking Tuesday. I hope your Tuesday is awesome. I hope everybody else's Tuesday is good, but I really, I want Klez to have the best Tuesday out of all of us. I have this white collar service PW, but I had to pay for it. Via magicpaper.edu's app. Oh. Thibodeau, Louisiana. Thibodeau is one of my favorite uh, names that exists in America. Because it does not look like that's how it should be spelled or pronounced. Both things seem wrong, and yet, it's not Thibodeox. Headed to Fort Worth shortly. It is certainly a place that exists. <laughs> it is one of the places of all time, to use a turn of phrase. I should use a bigger paintbrush. Potomac is spelled like it is. Potomac is spelled like it's pronounced. Potomac. Potomac. Your assurance makes me concerned it's not real. Potomac. I would like some Potomac and cheese, please. Oh my god. Klez, the timing. Also, what? Okay, I do have the song liked. Louisiana Mahi Mahi. I would not be ordering Mahi Mahi in Louisiana, but actually, any seafood in Louisiana I would be fine with. Now that I think about it, Louisiana is a very wet state. Shooby dee dooby doo, scooby dee dooby doo la. I just don't usually order fish unless it's fucking deep fried or it's a crab. Or I guess if it's raw, because I'll do sushi pretty much any time. Don't eat frogs. I. What do frogs have to do with anything? Frogs aren't fish. Are frogs fish now? Oh, water food. I don't consider frogs a water food, even though I know they literally are amphibious and like half their life experience is water related. I don't think of them that way. Ooh, catfish boy sounds tight though. 
That that is what I would be getting if I was in your shoes. Uh, I did. Since I was a little one. Wait, Moros, do you mean locally or just sort of in general that tree fogs, tree fogs, tree frogs are a thing? Locally? Yes, I did know locally. My parents always called them peepers. Those are the peepers. What are peepers, mom and dad? Well, those are tree frogs. Idiot child. Oh, cool. Thanks, mom and dad. That's my imitation of how that went. My parents never called me idiot child. But if they would have, it would have been because of tree frogs. Peepers are chorus frogs that plong vibe. I haven't heard news about the job opportunity, but my boss was like, oh, hey, Klez, I'm leaving at the end of May. Oh, boy. Oh, it's Ween. A tree frog is a cool frog. Hell yeah. I like a gay tree frog. I'm fucking really annoyed at... It did say gay. Oh, no, it said gray. Oops. Just kidding. Turning the friggin' frogs gay! If you don't get the job, maybe you'll get promoted to be where your boss was, and you'll make thousands of monies. He's the person I don't get along with well won't replace my boss. Fuck, that would be a reason to leave. That's a trap, too. She's much better than me. Mm. I think she's a robot. Well, your personalities can't clash if she doesn't have one. Because if she doesn't have a personality, that means you should be just fine. So she definitely has one, and it's just one that you don't vibe with.
Stalker's Tango. Oh my god, my nose. Purr. Hold on, I'm gonna mute for a second. Oh, better. Okay. Uh, what else is new? We're almost done painting the main bedroom. We need to hang up wallpaper, hang up curtains, and move all our furniture in. And then we'll be sleeping up there. So, like, two weekends, maybe? Maybe? I'm excited. Wallpaper and horn. No, we're done painting. Unless unless we have to do some touch-ups. We are done painting. Oh, wallpaper and paint at the same time. Yeah, baby. It's called an accent wall. So we picked the wall. We picked the, like the vibe we wanted for the for the bedroom. Uh, we picked the wallpaper that we felt went with the vibe, and then we... Yeah, no, we are also wallpapering. We're doing both. But we're only doing one wall of wallpaper. The rest of the walls are painted. So, like, we picked a wallpaper that we like, and we are using colors that we picked from the wallpaper for the rest of the room. Uh, I don't have any photos currently. Well, mm, that's not true. Maybe I... Hold on. Where is... There it is. I, I'm trying to find the picture. <laughs> I know I posted it somewhere, but I can't remember where. Or when. But that's not even an accurate painting, because that's I'll just take a picture. I'll just take a picture after stream. I'll take a picture of that room, and, and I'll show you where we're at. Um, What was I about to do? Oh, wash. The armor. Ad start in five minutes, just as a warning for everyone. You know I'm gonna go get more coffee. Actually, shit. I'll just take a picture while I'm on my uh, ad break, Les. That's thinking with portals. That's that's knowing how to use my time. So you're thinking. What are you going to how are you going to paint your house? Themed Painting living room around the color scheme of that Tara McPherson. That sort of teal and pink uh, vibe, or which one? Because I don't have the art in your house memorized. <laughs> the Flaming Lemon LaCroix launcher. That is a very Cave Johnson thing. Clez Mesmer Mom doesn't like the idea of dark blue. So... Dark colors are going to make your room feel much smaller than it is, which is fine, but you have to be aware of that. Like, it's going to make the room cave-like. 
if I were making a more traditional, quote unquote, traditional color choice based on that piece, I would have the majority of the room be like a, not quite a mint green, but something more in that territory versus a darker blue. I think so. If if I'm remembering the piece as well as I think I am, uh, I think a sort of a mint or a sea foam is the direction that I would go. Mint might not be the right color. I think sea foam is actually where my head's at. But I also haven't been in that room since I helped you move in, and I don't remember that piece very well, so. I could be just talking directly out of my ass. Should I? Yeah, I just want to whoop darken these crevices. No, I mean I I've seen I've seen the picture you posted of it. I just don't remember your uh don't remember the shape of your living room as well as I would like to for answering this question, you know? Like I'm an expert, but even an expert can only do so much on faulty memory. Faulty memory is the only kind I've got, baby. Painting my ceiling partially dark green and the wall green opened it up. I mean, our, so our bedroom, the, uh, the walls are like really dark purple. The ceiling and the trim is black and the floor is, uh, like liver dark brown. Uh, and it does make the room seem so much fucking smaller than when it was painted like light gray blue earlier but it also makes the room so much fucking cozier that like fuck yeah it's great i need more black on my brush do do boo do 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 yeah oh and and color hunting helps honestly klez what i would do head to uh head to like wherever you're thinking of getting your paint from, get a couple paint swatches and tape them up in your room that you're thinking of painting and just leave them there for a while and like check in on them at different times during the day to see like, how does it look at night with no lights on? How does it look at night with lights on? How does it look at sunset? How does it look in the morning? Like, we we did that. We got a bunch of paint swatches and just, like, left them in that room and consulted them every couple of hours until we were like, yeah, definitely this one, definitely not this one. All right. It is ad break time. I will be right back. I need to go pee and get coffee. Semi gloss eggshell and matte make a difference once you like a color. True. We went with semi gloss. I matte drives me up a wall, but like semi gloss and eggshell are both fine for me. I didn't, matte sets me off for some reason. My brain doesn't like it. Nope, not face cam. I'll be right back.
I'm back. Black kitchen, semi-gloss black with warm wood cabinets, white ceiling and light floors and silver fixtures. Silver bats and metallic nighttime creatures. I love that. Oh, we when we were shopping around for houses, there was one house that had like a teal blue kitchen that we were just like, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, but it didn't work out. So, didn't do that. That's my good story. <laughs> yes. Always making its way back into the stream. What am I looking for? Metallic. Sleeping in your bed. Sleeping in your bed. Invisible man. Sleeping in your bed. Bustin', 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 bustin'. We went almost 24 hours without hearing this song. Freaky ghost man. Freaky man, baby. Let me sleep in your bed. I ain't afraid of no sleeping. I ain't afraid of no bed. Freaky ghost bed. Yeah, it's it's weird how the different uh different levels of shine can make colors feel so different, you know? And also the apparently cultural expectation that different rooms are going to have different levels of gloss for their paint. Like the last time I went and got paint, uh, house paint, I like saw this chart that was like, in your bathroom, everything should be high gloss. On your banisters, everything should be high gloss. For your kitchen, things need to be eggshell or matte. Like, what the fuck? I'm a little confused here. What's a twink? And um! How goes it today, my friend? I hope your fucking Tuesday is like ripping fat doinks. 
you know? Things that I say normally all the time. Wanna pop in and say hi, hanging with Claire for a little bit? Hey, tell Claire. Farts. That'll show them. Show Herm? Herm. I used three, two di three different pronouns and none of them were fair, like I meant to say. <laughs> Talking. Thinking. They're all canceled. But I appreciate it. It's great to see you. And be mean to Claire for me. Barracuda. This violin is fucking stressing me the fuck out. I'm wondering, I think this is a, I think this is a clip pick. No, I was wrong. I was wrong. It's a Klez pick. How do I want to fucking highlight that? I think I know. Never mind. I asked the question and I immediately got the answer. Let's just see if it's going to work. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was looking for. All right. Oh, I'm itchy. Why am I itchy? Why is it spicy?
I know I've asked this before, but I want to know who made who put this on there because it's so good. It's an Adam song. Fuck yeah. Eek. Eek. Eagle. Eagle. I don't know why eagle was the word that came out, but eagle. Eagle. Silent Hill. Fuck yeah. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Do 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 do. So, I've been watching Glee with my wife, because the deal was we watch Sopranos, and as a palate cleanser, we follow it up with Glee. And I must say, it's a Buckwild show. It's surprisingly good, I hate to say. I didn't expect or desire it to be as good as it is, but there we are. Uh, Sue Sylvester is an absolute queen. I love her. Everybody else on the show is pretty insufferable, but... They kind of seem like they're supposed to be like that. Oh, I'm just a small little goblin. Hello, small little goblin. 
Patch. 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 Hello. Chat, you know that you need to be following Patch already. You know that I will personally assassinate you if you don't follow Patch. What is the fucking command? There it is. Because he's my best friend. He's my pal. He's my homeboy. He's my rotten soldier. He's I will end your chief. life if you I do not follow Patch. I don't care if that goes against TOS. It's how I feel. Yeah, assassinate specifically. You won't fucking see it coming. I feel like I say murder too often, so I wanted to shift it up, use a different term, you know? And I know I barely say assassinate. So, you know, we're just, we're shaking things up today. Really going out on a limb. The beginning of this song is making me very angry. My ears do not like it. Okay, it did something different. That's good. Yeah, you really, if you keep, if you don't switch up your villainy from time to time, you just keep getting caught. It's good to have a theme, but you have to be open to new experiences. I, I did not hear that y'all are working on a comic together. What? That's tighter than fuck. They're going to help you with the writing? That's cool! Uh, I want I want to see it as soon as it's visible. As soon as it's in a visible state, I want some. I want some? Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Got a bunch of ideas, but it's like pulling teeth, trying to formulate a cohesive story. That's, uh, that's a relatable feeling. One of the things I like about dungeon mastering is that I can just have ideas, but the story I don't have to worry about. There will be test readers, and you're one of them. There's no choice. Sorry. You know, I'm... I love being a test reader. Test reading is is how my nephew Grimlock came to be. Nephew, son, I'm not sure about what our familial relationship, our psycho familial relationship is, but I was one of the first test readers for uh, my buddy Ash Armstrong's uh, uh, weird Western orc gunslinger series. So. I'm I'm happy to do it. There it is. Yeah, it's a it's a nice feeling to be like this this little series of self-published books wouldn't exist without my help. Wah -ha -ha. Monster of the Week style cryptid paranormal hunters type thing. Oh, fuck. That's so far up my alley. It's the whole street, honestly. <laughs> what color is Alice's hair? She's a fucking redhead, right? She's gotta be. She's 
Scottish. Irish. Skyrish. Yeah, she's a redhead. All right. Let's try this orange oxide that I haven't opened yet. Some 22 to 30 somethings thinking they know a lot and quickly finding out that they don't. Fuck. Yes. Some 22 to 30 somethings thinking they know what plunced and quickly finding out that they plunced. Sometimes you both plunced and Noah plunced. Oh, they plunced all right. That's a threat and a promise. They plunced. Oh, I love this color. Mmm, mmm, look at that. Look at that collar. I'm so stoked. It's a good burnt orange. Oh, I don't have a place for this on my fucking paint rack yet. That's why it's not there. <laughs> Oopsies! Um, fuck it. Let's use this one. Why not? <sighs> Dude, I fucking love coffee. God damn. I don't have your fucking Dude. coffee problem. You should get my coffee. This is not a fresh fucking pot. 115. This brush is... Honestly, I need to just get rid of this brush, but... I can't. I can't! Because I have deep personal trauma, and I can't throw things away until they're completely unusable. Teehee, so fun.
So like I, I've known for a long time that the way that I interact with objects and not throwing them away is some kind of something that's not totally normal. Uh, but then fucking TikTok specifically was like, hey, this thing, this is a trauma response, you fucker. And I was like, I don't like that. And then it just kept telling me it was a trauma response. And then I actually looked it up and it fucking is. And here we are. All right. Uh... This is not from the Hellboy board game. I'm just doing it. Used to have that problem, but then my aunt was a monster and I had to do a lot of growing fast. Mm. So what you're saying, Moros, is that you used to be traumatized and now you're differently traumatized. <laughs> Mm, yes and no. Fair. Oh, I could be using my white ink for this instead of my fucking white paint, and that would probably help a lot. Whatever. I made the loss of stuff as positive as possible and learned new skills that made me happy. That's... That is... Yeah, silver lining. Silver lining as fuck. I'm proud of you. Trauma based on her treatment of me? Check plus. Oh. My darling, am I pleased to Shut up and take my money. Gaming. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, gaming. Hey, Junebug. I'm tired too. I think we should just be able to stop. Just sort of generally speaking. Where is this color right here? I like uh I like helping my mom learn to organize. Uh, that sounds like a circle of hell to me. <laughs> but I'm glad that it's a good experience for you. Oh, I mean, even even not doing it for her sounds. I would no. <laughs> Just no. Telling her the steps I took and waiting for her to circle back.
That sounds more therapeutic than I was imagining. She's a sit and digest type, so she'll come back when she's ready for input. Hmm. I don't know anyone. I don't know anyone in my family like that. <laughs> but, surprise, certain neurodivergencies run in the family. And I do not have to slow down and think about stuff, neurodivergence. I kind of have to hurry up and think about stuff, divergence. Cannot wait to quit this job. One more damn Zoom call. Wait, does that mean you have one more Zoom call until you're out? Or does that mean you don't want to take another damn Zoom call? Because one of those is way more triumphant and I will react differently. No more. Okay. Fuck Zoom. I don't miss doing Zoom calls. The irony that I now spend all of my work time almost all of my work time in a video chat is not lost on me. Discord and Twitch rule. I thought you said you liked AIM. By, by this logic, Discord's better than AIM. Moros. No, you said you said Discord rules, which means it's better than AIM. I'm applying the same exact logic that you did about fucking Lemon LaCroix on my uh my fucking reel. My TikTok. My lore drop. I'll enjoy the spirit of victory of my lemon LaCroix. Victory tastes great. It tastes like lemon LaCroix. Actually, I've never had lemon LaCroix, honestly. Tastes like Lemon Pledge? Oh, fuck that. Why do you know what Lemon Pledge tastes like? That it tastes like someone sat next to a glass of water and described what a lemon takes, tastes like to the water. And okay, I'll try to do a poor impersonation. LaCroix makes some terrible flavors.
This neon yellow does not quite vibe the way I was hoping it was gonna. But that's okay, because I'm intending to mix it with orange and get a more powerful experience. But... Thought it was going to be more. The Limoncello one is pretty decent. Oh, I'm about to... I think today after stream, I'm going to make some... I'm going to start some homemade Limoncello. Everyone hated it universally. Hibiscus is not a flavor I would go with for, like... There's some flavors that, like... I can understand using them if they're super intense, but like if they're like reserved, it's just going to taste like you're drinking dirty water and like flowery floral flavors are going to be one of those in my mind. I feel like a hint of hibiscus is going to be like, hmm, this can tastes like it wasn't washed before they filled it. Perfume of hibiscus? Uh, huh. I don't know, I just... All sparkling water is not to my flavor. Which might be surprising if you've never been in stream before and you've never heard me talk about how much I fucking hate seltzer. Hello there. Seltzer's just very sad flavored water. Well, it's, it's the, the flavor's bad and the texture's wrong. Like, that's, that's the main thing. Even more than the flavor for seltzers, I don't like the texture of seltzer. Like, water on its own is, like, such a perfect experience of, like, mm, this is cold and refreshing and I feel hydrated and I'm happy this is happening to me. And then seltzer is, like, we took your delicious cold water and we made it sharp and unhappy and not refreshing anymore. And then also we added whispers of flavor that are just unenjoyable. And I, I fucking hate that. Office was paranoid about it because of the hibiscus, but they watched me drink one and got curious. The canary in the coal mine. Yeah, and as I said earlier in stream, if I want to drink spicy, angry water, I'll just drink vodka and actually enjoy myself about it. Oh, yo, Ian, how did that, um, uh, how'd that art guy go? That art guy. How'd that art guy go? Because he's my best friend. He's my pal. He's my homeboy. He's my rotten soldier. He's my sweet cheese. My good time boy. Are you annoyed at the lacrosse logic? I'm not sure what you mean by lacrosse logic. Lacrosse also, please. Oh, it's ongoing? Oh, I thought it was like just a weekend thing. Like just that one weekend.
Lacrological. My work will be on the wall until June 15th. Nice. Beware the Ides of June. That's when they take stuff down. What's that like to live deliciously? How lemon LaCroix is delicious by proxy? No, that... I, I, act, I, Morris, you, I know you're trolling me and it's working and that's all I have to say. No, you, what do you mean that, what do you mean no? Even just bringing up Lemon LaCroix being delicious by proxy, that's, that's trolling. Is that, how is that not? Are we defining it differently? I don't think I can be this precise, but I'm going to give it a shot. It turns out I can actually be that precise when I give it a shot. I was trolling before, but if you're genuinely annoyed, I'll stop. And I'm wondering if I hit that line because I can't always tell. Oh, no, I'm. I am not genuinely annoyed. I just recognize the trolling and I am being successfully trolled, but not to a level where I'm like in, in psychological distress about it. You know, there's a, there's a fun, comfortable level of trolling. Uh, I say as a, as a fucking Twitch streamer, there's a fun, comfortable level of being trolled by everyone around you. And currently we're in that sweet spot. I feel like those need to darken. Cleveland rocks. I don't know if this is going to work. 
but in my mind it works. Maybe it works. Kinda. I'll take kinda. I'm fucking around. No! <laughs> Echolalia! Oh, adds in five. You know what that means. We have ads in five minutes. How do we feel about, no, don't like it. Don't like it. I want to scritch a tortoise's shell and have it do the butt dance. Ooh, ooh, that does sound like a good goal. My red-eared sliders used to do the butt wiggle getting shell scratches. What's a red-eared slider? I bet it's fucking cute. Red-eared slider. Oh, it's fucking cute. It's a cute little turtle. Oh, it's a terrapin. Nice. All right, folks, it's ad break time. I'm sorry to say. I'll be back.
Baby, I don't fear the reaper. You know? Oh, my son. When I'd bathe them, I'd use a toothbrush and find these tickle spots and they'd just lean into the brush and wiggle. Oh my word. That sounds adorable. Almost made you jump? All right. We can almost tick up Moros' spook counter. I do want to the highlight on the, the jacket. The song's weird as fuck. I don't know why her flesh is as orange as it is. I guess her hair kind of leaked into it, but the color's really fucking me around. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Belly, you've you've given me a gift here. The shadow, the shadow, the shadow. Oh, what's up, Commander? You're here just in time for a lore drop. Give me a second to to get into it. Also, Belly, it's wonderful to see you. Many a tale has been told of the sovereign glue that can hold all together. You may have also heard of that one other magic item that can dissolve anything. I can't remember what it's called right now. But today we have the story of Sovereign Lubricant, which is in fact a fluid that is so viscous and slippery it has never been successfully bottled. Uh, the Sovereign Lubricant... Universal Solvent. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Moros. Thank you. The Sovereign Lubricant is less of an artifact or a treasure and more of a natural hazard that just slides across the multiverse, unable to be housed in any containers, unable to be stopped by any barricades, Almost disregarding laws of gravity, time, it is a tide of 
semi-fluid, mostly clear gelatin that just leaves a trail of slippery destruction in its wake. It was originally created when um, Grumpsch and Coralon decided that they were going to settle their differences. Uh, that's that's the god of the god of the orcs, Grumpsch, and the god of the elves, Coralon. They decided they were going to finally, finally settle their beef and just fuck it out, like like they've been meaning to for thousands of millennia. Because honestly, that's the only way that you can squash that beef. Uh, and they recognized that such was their intense loathing for one another that they would need the most powerful lubricant possible to make this a pleasurable experience. Hello there. And together, they did create the most powerful lubricant. They used the, they used the tears of Grumpsch from his empty eye socket as it was plucked out. They used the hair grease of Corallon from his long, beautiful elven hair. And they mixed it with many other ingredients that are too, too arcane and esoteric to name. And the time came, and when the time came, so did they. And yet, they found afterwards that they had created a lubricant so slippery that they could not catch it and clean it up, and it just fled their... fled their hands, fled their orifices, fled their entire area. Uh, and now it just slips and slides through the multiverse. No one knows where it's going to come next. And um, I think I've made this particular lore drop completely unmonetizable. <laughs> but that's the story of the Sovereign Lubricant. Thank you for that gift, Belly. That <laughs> See now now my brain is still like, okay, so if it's that slippery, can you can you get chunks of it and use it for stuff? And I don't think so. I think it's just like a permanent tidal wave of slipperiness that just f fucks up friction. Sovereign lubricant added to any engine makes the engine completely silent. Exactly. Cast Awaken on the Sovereign Lubricant? Th that might be where... Jweeblex. I can't say that the Demon Lord Jweeblex? 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 Gooeyblex? J-U-I-B-L-E-X, I believe his name is. Or its name is. That might be where that comes from is the Awakened Sovereign Lubricant. If you threw Sovereign Lubricant into someone's throat, could they make a sound? Uh, I, well, I don't, I don't think... Here's my theory. I don't think it's permanent. Jujubee. Jubajubee. I don't I don't I don't think the sovereign lubricant is permanent. I think that while it's in contact, it's great, but eventually it's going to slip out of wherever it is. So if you were to somehow drown in sovereign lubricant, you could make a noise eventually. But while you're drowning, you'd be fucking at least you wouldn't be able to shout about it. Much to think about. Truly a distressing a distressing relic of bygone days. I'm painting now. We're so close to being done with all three of these minis, y'all. Well, I guess all four, technically. Even though the three is the only three that I was actually thinking of painting today. Oh, there it is. Good job. Found it. 
That's my impression of Slipknot. I think it's spot on. All right, let's do some fucking skin. And then I think it's time to clean up the bases and say, hey, I did a great job today, y'all. Or at least hope that that's what I can say. is really not my favorite face sculpt I've ever interacted with. Wow. Do I have a favorite face sculpt? That's a good question. That's a good question that I'm going to spend a lot of time thinking about. Do you have a fa I do have a favorite Plunst sculpt and it's the one that was sculpted by uh Plunst Plunston and uh for for Plunst workshop back in uh uh 2000 Plunst. It was a limited edition Plunst. Yeah, the plunged core piece, exactly. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I got to think about that. I'm going to just be thinking about models for a while now. Do you have a favorite face sculpt? Or a favorite plunts sculpt? Oh, actually, I might have a favorite face sculpt. Hold on. I think I can even find my favorite face sculpt. Yep, there it is. That's the one. Uh, way back in the sands of time, 
when uh, Games Workshop, uh, right about 2001, I think, Games Workshop released the Inquisitor game where they did uh, a very small range of 54 millimeter miniatures for it. Uh, the Arco Flagellant model that they made for Inquisitor. Oh, 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 it's so good. Uh, the face on that Arco Flagellant is the perfect mixture of like goofy and horrifying. And like, it reminds me a little bit of Neon Genesis Evangelion and like a little bit of like, I don't know, but here it is so that you can see what I'm talking about. So an Arco Flagellant is like a convict that their crime sentence is basically their hands are replaced with weapons and they're injected with uh, a lot of combat drugs. And basically they're in pain until they're killing and then they're not in pain and then they die either from the fight or from, you know, the massive amount of combat drugs in their body. But just like that face is so manic. It's like, I'm having a great time. And also I'm in hell. And like, it just, it just, I just, the vibe is so good. The one eye, the weird missing teeth, the weird over large teeth. Like it's cartoony, but it's super fucking serious at the same time. I love it. I think that's my favorite face sculpt. And whoever painted this did a great job with those veins. I love that. Hero Killer Stein? I don't know Hero Killer Stein. But now I'm going to look up Hero Killer Stein. Oh, fuck. Yeah, definitely. And also kind of, um, God, that weird blue guy from Small Soldiers, if anyone remembers that movie. Is that Insaniac? Yeah. Very similar to Insaniac as well. Huh. Huh. I didn't. Hmm. Oh, Hero Killer Stain? Oh. Google autocorrected for me, so I found it anyway. Insaniac reminds me of TikTok for some reason. Uh, that makes perfect fucking sense, honestly. If I if I had to think about it, which I do, because I'm choosing to, that makes sense that Insaniac reminds you of TikTok, because it's very frenetic. It's 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 almost manic. Oh, the tick, the tick. I can't read. Uh, I can see visually speaking why it reminds you of the tick. Fuck, I love the tick. Fuck yeah, the tick. It's it's uh it's very cool and impressive that my brain saw the tick and went, Oh, you must mean TikTok. All right. I'm not feeling fucking jazzed about that face at all, but I don't need to. Get an old man brain? 
Honestly, it's just like mild dyslexia. If I'm if I'm being completely honest. Not even mild, it's just like minimal dyslexia. Reading faster than I can comprehend it. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even grok old man brain as being gendered, but I appreciate your your self correction anyway. When I think of people whose brains don't fucking work, I I think of old men. So that sign can't stop Bennett because they can't read. That streamer would be very offended if they could read. Is this a new pot of paint? That's somehow solid? The fuck? I just mix this up for a little bit and see what happens. That's weird. Perfectly flat, perfectly level. Didn't move it all around when I changed the angle it was at. But, like, also the interior of the cap was clean. Have I been hexed? Did a warlock curse my troll slayer orange? Should I be distressed? That's not much better. All right. It's just really dry. Need to get back and work on your anger on more. Yeah, you do. That big bara beautiful Angron? Big beautiful bara Angron is really what I... The order I should have said that in. It's a good Angron. This song's tight. It's the last I did anything to him. Oh, that's progress. No, wait, that's not. Fucking. I need to scroll down. There you go. That's progress. Ooh, I like the, the highlighting you've done on the flesh. That's nice, especially on the fucking abs. Damn. I mean, it is, this is, if there is a demon named Bangron, it's this one. Like, look at that handsome chap who also just wants to kill you. And like those, oh, those abs. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I'm glad that uh, demons are what takes me to be like, oh, that's right, I'm bisexual. <laughs> You're going to take it up. I, I think taking it up more is a good call. I def plunge to Angron. Hell yeah.
I'd play on Stangron too. Seeing him now, same. Yeah, he's he's uh he's very hunky. He's he's uh, in retrospect, I called him Bara earlier, and I should not have. He's not bare enough to be Bara, but he's hunky. All right. Flesh, bases. Highlight flesh, make bases blacker again. And then, raiding. Going grocery shopping? I'll check back in later. I mean, you can, but I probably won't be here. But enjoy your grocery shopping. I guess I should paint her eyes. Or something similar to her eyes. Nope, we're not going to do it with that much water on my brush, though. Fuck. Again, less water on the brush, please. do a little little cheek dab and move on all right black paint Always feels iffy when a song starts with this kind of a sound. Okay. <laughs> like, is, is this song going to be weirdly racist? Folks, since all I'm doing before I'm done is painting these bases, who should we raid into? What's the what's the consensus? Tell me tell me who's cool.
Like I know there I know there's cool people on, but what do you, where do y'all want to go? Ramius? Let's do it. Easy choice. More like raid me, yes, am I right? That was rough. I stand by it, but it was rough. Hexagons. Hexagons. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe we'll just do a fucking hand stretch. Mmm, delicious. That's the ticket. <laughs> All right. Ramius. C3 slave. Ooh. Oh. I did not know that wasn't muted. All right. Y'all, thank you for hanging out. I love it. I love y'all. I appreciate it. Thank you for stream. I'm going to be back tomorrow night playing another crab's treasure because that game is perfect and beautiful and I love it. And then I'm going to be back on Thursday playing Signalis because that game is terrifying and perfect and beautiful and I love it. And then I'm going to be back building my Tarot Bash mini for this month on Friday. And then Saturday night, uh, you are going to be joining me for Whiskey and Rogue Trader. And we're just going to have a nice chill time committing heresy. That's the rest of my week. I hope to see all of you there. And if I don't see all of you there, then f fuck you, I guess. You fucking rude. <laughs> see you next time, everybody. Take it easy. Beagle Active Probe. Love it. Alloran 15, small pulse, small, small narc missile beacon. Ooh, we got a ding ding. Holy Fireman, rating me with 12 viewers. How you doing, Holy Fireman? What's up? What is up? Cluster. Cluster. Alright, well, no, I'm looking at this one. I think I think the 3L is what I would want. RVN. I am uh, welcome in, welcome in. Um, I am attempting to put together.